well this is crazy what's happening <laughs> the competition is real let's just let's just get into it hi guys if you're new here my name is april i'm a skincare and cosmetic chemist i talk about all things skincare back end front end of all things skincare so if you're interested in that definitely hit that like button for me down below subscribe to the channel because we're here every week every single week talking about skincare <laughs> the competition is real y'all after I made my last video talking about the new Ambi serum that just came out about retinol, someone commented, it literally is the same exact replica for CeraVe's retinol resurfacing serum. And I was like, it can't be. No way. But y'all, when I checked it out, <laughs> I was shook. I figured it's only right to make a follow-up video comparing both products. Actually, both products are pretty decent products with slight few differences, but pretty much the same. But again, I always say, if you watched a video up here, a very old video where I talked about how two products can never truly be the same, especially since we don't know the origin of it, we don't know the compounder who made it, we don't know what manufacturing facility is coming from. There's so many nuances when it comes to formulation that you can't really just say two products are the same just because they have the same ingredients. But for all intents and purposes, these products are pretty much the same, just based off of the ingredient list. So yeah, let's just talk about these products. The Emmy product in particular is the one with the encapsulator retinol. This one also has key ingredients like niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and ceramides. The one from CeraVe also has encapsulator retinol, niacinamide, ceramide, hyaluronic acid, and the only different key ingredient is licorice root, which also helps with brightness. Looking overall at both ingredient lists here, they both literally mirror each other, which is kind of wild. Like I said earlier, it's kind of crazy that they both look like the same product. But something that really stood out to me was that CeraVe's pretty much had everything that Ambi had and then some. CeraVe's, in addition to everything that Ambi's had, also had this patented MVE technology, which is basically a technology that helps hydration to be continually released into the skin as you wear it over time. Theirs also has tocopherol, which is an antioxidant that helps, you know, with brightening properties, alongside the licorice root extract, which also helps with those brightening properties as well. So it's just a lot of brightening properties that are packed into this formula. So those are some of the differences. Now similarities is, like I said, they have pretty much the same things. And it's so interesting because they both have all the three ceramides, ceramide AP and P and ceramide EOP that are really present on the skin that really help with that elasticity and it's all defying that skin barrier. When it comes to pricing, CeraVe's is a little bit more pricier at $18.68, almost 20 bucks. MB's is at $9.99, pretty much $10. So $20 and $10, I think, honestly, the CeraVe's is a lot more pricier because obviously CeraVe is a bigger company. They have the MVE patented technology. They have a few more ingredients that are a little bit different, which could have driven up the price there. Marketing, everything else that comes with just being like a big manufacturer. So like all the tests they have to do where smaller brands like MB might not really have to meet up as much as CeraVe might have to. So those are some of the things that could have driven up the price with CeraVe. So which one would I pick if you have extra money or disposable income i would just go with CeraVe because it's a more trusted brand a well trusted by dermatologists and just skincare experts for mb this is a new product so we don't know how much technology really went into creating this product but other than that i think they're both pretty great products if you're looking for an ingredient to help with mild hyperpigmentation both of them will work just great. But again, just being in the industry so long, CeraVe's technology has more integrity just within the industry. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any video suggestions, I'm going to be recording a lot more videos. You're going to be seeing me a lot more. So definitely leave your video suggestions below. If you like this video, make sure to thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and join the family because we're skincare lovers over here, all right? Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. to say